Good evening. We bring you the latest in the world of sports. I'm Paolo Del Rosario. We give you the conversations you want to hear from your favorite icons and athletes. I'm Zihir Vasho. In tonight's Game Plan. All hail the King! We'll talk about LeBron James' historic night after breaking the NBA all-time scoring record. All hail the bad boys! That's right, we'll also take a look at the Memphis Grizzlies and some moments that gave them their notoriety. And we'll find out about the level of competition between the top scorers and defenders in the PBL All-Filipino Conference. Buckle up sports fans, let's get in! The game. Now, 20 years ago, a kid from Akron, Ohio, had been dubbed the chosen one. Now, even before he ended up being the chosen one, and of course, being the league's all time leading scorer, he's not done yet. Now, with us tonight to break down the historic night that saw LeBron James become the NBA's all time leading scorer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have UAP champ and LeBron James fan, Brix yes. Ramos, making his debut yeah. show. <laughs> yeah. And NBA All-Star analyst, Diego Dario. Gentlemen, welcome to the game. Thanks, uh, Thanks Brix, you. welcome. Don't worry. Don't be scared. Uh, <laughs> the only one you have to be afraid of, actually, here is Jack. I mean, this year I played in the UAP championship for two years. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so it's not scared. Just, it's chill. Yeah. I was going to ask you about you also. Just I mean, one final. Yeah. 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 Yes, and, yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay, so una una. Reactions, Briggs, you must be really happy after seeing LeBron getting that accolade. Yeah, so bro, actually when I watched the while I was watching the game, I had like goosebumps as, as mm -hmm. soon as he hit the fadeaway. Mm -hmm. I was just like, damn, um, you know, we're, we're never gonna see anybody break this record. Or as of now. As of now. As of oh, now. It took 40 now. years. Yeah. Oh, it took 40, 40 years. years. I mean, this record, Pao, is older than me and Briggs. Combined. 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 Yeah. Maybe. Wow. Yeah. I mean, we were in practice earlier, we were watching the game, and you know, everyone was imitating the fadeaway fade yeah. of LeBron, and I think it's what a way to do it. Yeah. In a Lakers jersey fading away, I mean, maybe a tribute to Kobe, I guess. Yeah, probably. And of course, I would say it's combined age of Z and I, but that's not true. <laughs> Nico sure. No, no, it's not. I'm telling you right now, it's not the math. But right, Jago, you mentioned on a Lakers jersey, wearing a Lakers jersey on the home court as well. Yeah. And uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar also giving the game ball to him. Parang sobrang wild talaga nung experience. And I'm sure during your practice, napag-usapan na naman yung sino ba talaga yung goat. And Ooh. does this, does this uh, historic um, uh, event change that conversation between you guys? Mm. Well, I'll start it off. Personally, I was an MJ fan <laughs> yeah. growing okay. up. So yeah, okay. MJ was my hero and then eventually it was Kobe when I saw him play in the NBA. But I think with what LeBron did now, I would say he, personally he's my GOAT. Okay. He's, he's the greatest okay. of all time already because the knack with him before was he wasn't as pure of a scorer compared to MJ or Kobe. Mm -hmm. And you can't say that with him to, to him now because he's the number one scorer of all time mm -hmm. talking about LeBron James. He's also the only player who has 30,000 points, 10,000 assists, and 10,000 rebounds ever. He's and the only wow. guy. Of course. And uh, just a reminder po that our producer is actually a Lakers fan. That's why we also saw Kobe <laughs> there. And a lot of people also consider Kobe to be a very good GOAT, a candidate. But then break, siempre biased ka. Mm -hmm. okay? You're going to be a LeBron fan. When you hear all this debate between LeBron and MJ, and after this uh, particular achievement para kay LeBron, uh, what do you feel about that debate? Uh, probably the same as Jegs, you know. Um, even before he uh, beat the scoring record, mm -hmm. he was already my GOAT. And mm -hmm. I say that because I think, you know, in the GOAT talk, it's more of a subjective thing. Mm -hmm. It depends per person. Yeah. Like, uh, how you appreciate the game, how you see the game. Mm -hmm. If you're a pass first type of player, like if you bricks, like yeah, like playmaking, you know. <laughs> okay. you, for sure, go to si LeBron. Mm -hmm. Pero if you're a hooper, you like getting buckets, for sure, MJ or Kobe. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, okay, so definitely the conversation has shifted uh, dahil sa tonight. And since he's been dubbed the chosen one, since day one, living to die, when he's 38 years old, still in the game, still you know mm -hmm. upping the record what do you think i think that's also one reason why he's the goat because yeah. 
even before he came into the league, he had pressure already mm. on being the best, being yeah. the greatest, and um, being this player that is unstoppable. And he proved everyone wrong. At this point, if we don't think LeBron is one of the greatest, I, I think we're just hating at this point <laughs> if, if, if gotcha. we're saying that. I mean, LeBron has exceeded expectations for 20 years. I mean, that's yeah. crazy. That's yeah. crazy. Rick's message was to haters. After 20 <laughs> years of hate and more, what's your message to the haters of LeBron? Just keep hating. <laughs> <laughs> Well, of, of course, obviously, there's oh, there's not going to be, there's always going to be a divide, right? Yeah. There's always going to be a divide of those That's who hate LeBron, those who love Le LeBron. But then you take a look at his accolades, not just in scoring right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. He's probably he, no one's going to get the assist record anytime soon. But he's also the only guy, apart from uh, closest is Kobe, who's in the top ten of the scorers list with over ten thousand assists. You take a look at that, and you, you play making. Yeah, it's, it's, people said like, okay, it's not pure scorer, LeBron. Are we underrating the totality niya as a player, totality niya as an overall player? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, the fact that he's broken the record and he still has 10,000 plus assists, mm -hmm. right. you know, for, uh, for yeah. his career, it just shows how effective of a player he is, mm -hmm. how efficient of a player he is. Over the 20 and years career. And he's still not done yet. Yeah, yeah. He's he's not, I mean, exactly. what, three, four oh. years maybe and left in the tank? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean... I'd say like five to Five six. more years? Five with to the, six years. With the okay. way he okay. looks. Okay. Two right? years na parang bench na lang. Chill na lang. Yeah. But then like four, four good years. Waiting three for Bronny okay. yung last yeah, two years. Last two years. <laughs> <laughs> five by na bench lang. Oh my goodness. I mean, okay, so magsasabay sila, the senior and the junior, uh -huh. maybe in the next few years. Hopefully. I was gonna say, I was gonna ask you guys, ano pa kaya makikita natin sa kanya hmm. in the next I mean, years. we've seen everything from LeBron with yeah. the way he improved. He started off as, you know, just being a physical mm -hmm. athletic guy, just yeah. going inside, no one can stop him. From having a three-point shot now, he's I think he's 10th, 9th all-time when it comes to three-point made. I mean, that's also one thing that makes him one of the greatest. And then he has a post-up game now post with the way game. he d beat the record was yeah. from a post-up fadeaway. Yeah. So I think he's one of the also like most complete scorer also with yeah. the way he plays inside mid-range and three points. So what's the next achievement for you, Bricks? When you look at LeBron, obviously you're looking down the line. Like, mm -hmm. What's the next thing that he could do? I hope he still wins another championship. Well, of course you Ooh. do. Because oh. I think if he wins another one... I think it's over. It's over, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? The okay. GOAT talk is going to be over. <laughs> okay, okay. But can he do it in the Lakers? Oh, trade bro. <laughs> you said it. You said it. Oh, you said the oh, magic trade. Oh, of course. That, 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 that gets everyone happy. All right. So right now, obviously, all these records that are that are being broken, scoring is up. You feel that LeBron's new record, which is obviously the scoring title, mm -hmm. you think it's safe because it took 40 years to take this one. 40 years. But so. then, right now, with all of the other high-scoring nights that we're seeing. I've lost count of how many 50-point nights we've seen this season alone. Do you feel that his record is as untouchable as it was before? I think it is. Mm. I mean, even if the, you know, how the game has changed, people are shooting more threes now. Mm -hmm. I just don't think anybody will be able to play 20 years consistently. Right. Yeah. Dominate like, for Even if, years. say, you know, Steph plays for five to six more years, scoring just as much, mm -hmm. but... I don't think I'll yeah, put it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, All right, so oh, a sorry. very unbiased answer there from Bricks. So, but uh, Bricks, you're doing a good job so far. But yeah. don't go Thank away. Jago, I call because I have a lot more to talk about here. Yeah, we'll talk about more NBA because after the break, this time we'll talk about the rowdy young kids on the block, the Memphis Grizzlies. Stay tuned. You're watching the game.
Welcome back to the game. The NBA has a cast of superstars and characters all around the league. With this are some villains and all eyes are on the Memphis Grizzlies who seem to embrace the bad boy image. And still with us to talk about the Memphis villain arc is UAP champion Bricks Ramos and NBA Philippines all-star analyst Diego Dario. Guys. All right, guys. Uh, ito na. Because uh, <laughs> we want to talk about all of the episodes that happened of the Memphis Girls in the show before. But right. dami nang yare mm-hmm. in almost consecutive days, consecutive games, and uh, you have Dylan Brooks against uh, Donovan Mitchell. You didn't like that. Uh, I sure. did not like yeah. that for sure. <laughs> Jamar uh, Jakob Pertl and of course Desmond Bain against Jordan Clarkson. And there's just so much there. A lot of people are like making comparisons. Okay, these guys maybe talk too much. Talk too much trash. Talk too much. Uh, too many side episodes right there. Where are you on the Grizzlies right now, Jigs? I mean, I think it's one of the reasons also why they're competitive is because they're very, very physical. And if you're an, if you're another team and you're looking at these young guys trying to be physical on you, imagine natural instinct that oh. breaks. If you're a younger guy is trying to play physical, imagine you're scared, right? But okay. when when it's, I think the Memphis Grizzlies, I think that's really how they want to play. Yeah. I think especially in the playoffs, and I think that's how why that's why they're also seeing success now. But stop it with the with the. With uh, tough being tough and all that, mm-hmm. because I don't think the the vets and the champions are are, are having it. <laughs> I mean, you mentioned it; uh, it's the physicality, but of course, for sure, there's some psychological right, right. warfare going on with this antics ni uh, Grizzlies. Um, definitely, they're using it to their advantage. Yeah. Bricks, how does this uh, play out in the bigger picture? Na yeah. parang okay. Saan yung line na nagiging distraction siya mm-hmm. that affects your game? Because so far, parang okay sa kanila yung eh, ganitong uh, yeah. uh-huh. laro. Uh, I think it depends uh, per player. Because some players actually get fired up when mm. they when people talk trash to them. Right. Like, okay. Like, Are you like, like that? Parang ikaw. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm quiet lang. Eh. Uh, chill. Uh, just like uh, chill, you know. But then, you know, other players, they get discouraged. Yeah. They, they, it gets into their minds. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, they play worse. Yeah. Parang, yung iba, nangigigil. Right, mm-hmm. right. Tapos, nawawala yung laro, di ba? So, Sa palagay mo ba, sorry, ah, manufactured ba yung bad boy image nila? Mm. Mm, I think it's the way media is portraying them. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, okay. you know, the way social media has a say on the narrative in the NBA. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you know that's what they're trying to do with the Memphis Grizzlies right now. Yeah, but we also have video of Brooks throwing a fist at Spider, ja- yeah. drawing at Pertol. I mean, like that's not necessarily manufactured now. Uh, that's not really media spin, is it? Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, like, so do you still think that way? I guess it could also just be them embracing mm. the oh, bad right. boy okay. and just okay. you know. I just want to say we don't embrace that bad yeah. boy. Yeah. Yeah. We're, the, we're the least people you're gonna think of when you think of bad boy image uh, on the court. Oh, okay. so. I was gonna say Bricks is not, not really a hard guy. <laughs> though his name is Bricks. Uh, it's really a softy too. I mean, again, bigger picture. This is the professional league. You know, right. any. Rep is good rep. Um, any, <laughs> diba? Yeah. Kahit yeah, 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 yeah. Kahit, oh my god, yeah. bad image. But again, it's the you know clickbait and whatnot. Um, how does that affect, like personally, say in your guys, pag miganong lumalabas, how does that affect you? Like, do you get pumped up more or? Kapag may reputation about, ka. Oh, mm. Jake, siko na lang. Good boy image. I mean, I think. <laughs> It's it's not the image that I want to portray if I'm I'm the player. But uh, if you're uh, Memphis, they're, they're, it's looking like they're embracing mm-hmm. embracing what uh, the, you know everyone's giving them. But mm-hmm. also, I think they're not just tough on the court. Mm-hmm. They're also tough on internet on the social yeah. on social media. Ah. They would sub tweet right. So like I mean, tweeting so much. Tweeting so, so yeah. much, right? Even the Golden State Warriors. There was one time they beat the Golden State Warriors, mm-hmm. and someone tweeted strength in numbers or something ah. like that, mm-hmm. and yeah. yes. they lost. So, but then. No, fast forward, the Warriors won the championship, and then Clay talked back when yeah. they finally won the whole thing. Yeah, so, no, it's a. Uh, you can also, talk too early. Yeah, yeah. it's also yeah. they gotta yeah. learn. They gotta yeah. learn. Yeah. 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 All right, so I want to bring up a theory here uh, brought up by our producer, Sirene. I'm <laughs> gonna try to do it in her voice, cause. <laughs> oh no, well, they're a young Good team. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but then seriously, though, they are a young team, and the management right now, is there a possibility that? management's actually allowing them to do it. Because some some coaches, uh, wherever you go, want to rein in their players, make sure there's no distractions. Mm. But the Memphis man- management are okay 
with what's being shown on the floor, off the court as well, on social media. Because Are they okay with all this? I think they are. I mean, they're not stopping. Like right. They've been doing it consistently and it's, it's getting them views, it's getting yeah. them likes, you yeah. know, they're being talked about. Right. They're getting the, I guess, the attention that they want. Yeah. So... Small market. And, and I also think, because you remember Grit and Gride, Memphis Grizzlies? I think they're trying to bring that back, mm -hmm. that kind mm -hmm. of the tenacity they're of Memphis. They're embodying. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Kala na identity. Yeah. And uh, speaking of identity, um, of course, we look back and when we talk about bad boys on the hard court, mm -hmm. we think about none other than the Detroit uh -oh. bad boys. Before our time, to, ah. Before our time, to. Not our, 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 our time. Our time. Our time. Yes, yes. <laughs> Dipo tayo so, eighties basketball. <laughs> goodness, uh -oh. but like, do you think Silena, the Memphis Grizzlies, are the new bad boys on the block? What do you think, Bricks? <laughs> uh, sakto lang. Sakto lang. Sakto lang. Sakto lang. Sakto lang. I personally think. You can't be on the same level yeah, as the Detroit Pistons yeah. with the way yeah. the refs are calling yeah. it, you know, with the way the uh, the league is ran. I don't think they're, it's gonna get to that point because I've seen videos of of the bad boys Pistons. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. The, the way they yeah. defended Jordan, <laughs> Bill and Beer. Oh, yeah. um, yes. So as a sabi ko rin, it's nice. like you you have to win. Right. Yeah. Detroit right. Yeah. won. Of course. Right. right? Yeah. They stopped MJ yeah. before MJ became MJ the Utah Jazz Facts. killer. And when you, obviously, that's always going to be a hard comparison. But then you take a look at Memphis right now and their prospects. People are wondering how far they can go. I don't know if a lot of people are talking about them as championship contenders, mm -hmm. even with their good regular season record. Bricks, are we going to look at this team this season, maybe in the playoffs, as a potential contender, an, an actual realistic one, despite all the noise, despite everything we see on the floor? Uh, I mean, from what I've seen I don't think so mm -hmm. not just yet I feel like they need a bit more experience mm -hmm. yeah, say. okay mm -hmm. a bit more how about you Jets really quickly um I think where Jamaran goes uh, the Memphis Grizzlies will go right yeah. they, they play defense I think Jamaran's the one of the next superstars in the NBA so yeah. it's up to him to prove it yes yeah. so yeah. we've already yeah. concluded that they're not really the bad boys of Detroit not, not even close <laughs> let's see if the championship can take them there though Briggs Jago maraming salamat really appreciate the time that you spent and Briggs good job we'll have you back here some other time thank you thank you thank you guys so after the break we'll find out what it's like to go up against the top scorers and defenders in the PBL All Filipino Conference stay tuned you're watching the game Back to watching the game. It's just the first week of PVL, but we are already seeing the display of firepower on both offense and defense. 
Now, if you're wondering what it's like to be on the floor with some of the top talents in the league, the newest Petrogas Angel, Z Harpacho, will be telling us more about it. Z, thank you very much for becoming an analyst tonight. Thank you. And of course, uh, you've played with a lot of these girls in the mm. past uh, for years on years. And of course, um, when you name a top, the top scorers and the top defenders, you know, what's your criteria? Obviously, sometimes people say it's the numbers and all of that, but then you have a lot more reference. I guess now, I'm when it comes to top scorers, siguro yung mga relentless. Mm -hmm. um, you know, getting blocked, getting defended on the floor. Pero they would still continue and power on yeah. despite all those. And then when it comes to defenders naman, it's it's pretty much the same. The relentlessness yeah. and yung chaga, especially now with how the game is being played. It's super fast. It, you know, the plays have changed also over the time and you know these guys have adapted along with it. So let's start off first with the ones who are the top scorers. Formidable okay. on offense. Uh, so right. muna natin with Cream Lines said Domingo again, mm -hmm. someone who I feel has evolved also with yes. the past with the times. Exactly. Said Domingo definitely has up her performance. I guess it also um, helps that ganun yung type of play ni Cream Line na it's always first option would always be the middle blocker. Yeah. So said would have almost always, I mean, she's an MVP. Mm -hmm. So definitely stepping up to that role and embracing that role, that's another thing. And then another thing, um, she's not just purely on offense, uh, you know, helping with the numbers and all. Yeah. Blocking also, she's there. Yeah. The character is there. And yeah. parang she's stepping up to a more leadership role also in her team. And speaking of evolution, see Mylene Pat. I remember yes. seeing her in college and then her development when she went into the pros. She mm -hmm. became a go-to person. Yes. And in fact, even won accolades overseas. Correct. And what more can we say about a Mylene Pat? I mean, I think she can only go, you know, so much further pa mm -hmm. over the years. Uh, I'm sure there they, there will be a lot of opportunities for her locally and abroad. And you know, because we saw there was a dip in her career yeah. in the last year. Because I guess overbook. <laughs> Nasa yeah. Thailand, maya maya sa Pilipinas na, maya maya naglalaro na naman abroad for the Sea Games. So you know, I think it's a matter of balancing everything that's going on with her. But you know, she's always gonna be the go-to girl, and you know, it's it's gonna be only time will tell how much evol evolution mm -hmm. she will bring to the table. Well, these two, in terms of us, he said, and Simailin, obviously off to okay starts yeah. in uh, yeah. in the conference with with the wins, and in terms of momentum, very early on. Right. Uh, I mean, are, do we even have to question the consistency that they bring, and of course, uh, what can we watch out for for these two teams to make sure that they maintain a good uh, run so far? I think. Yun nga is, they are the go-to girls yeah. of their respective teams. I think it's gonna be, it, it's gonna have to be the whole picture, the bigger picture na who else will complement them yes. inside the court. I think that's gonna be the equation to look out for. Let's go to the other side. Ito from PLDT, we're talking about the defenders this time. Catarado, who I felt was so underrated throughout her entire Period. career. We talked about this before, but then si Catarado, uh, even though I think she's underrated, She's always mentioned as one of the better defenders in the Philippine volleyball. Yeah, um, Katarado, again, during our previous conversation, she's kasi hindi siya masyadong flashy. Mm. She's, um, I remember having this conversation long, long time ago with Tito Miko Panga. Um, mm. We parang made two categories of kinds of liberos. Yeah. One is the parang flashy, naggalaw, naggalaw, naggalaw. And the other one is like, pag tingin mo sa bola, andun lang sila. Yeah. Parang it's, they're just there, not too flashy. So, I guess Kat Arado falls under the not too flashy kind. And yeah. again, um, you know, you're right. Throughout her career, hindi siya, she's been consistently good, 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 or best, best, best. But it wasn't like, you know, over the top, na above everyone else. Yeah. But definitely, she's one of the greater ones. There. And you also had an opportunity to be teammates with si Don. Yes. You've seen, you've watched her defend more than a lot of people have, probably already in your stint with F2 back, back in the day. You talk, you talk about Don Macandil. What more can we say about her? And of course, it's, it's a surprise that the way she plays is so yes. sustainable because she's been doing it for such a very long time and yet she's so good at what she does. I mean, I guess, yun nga, since sabi natin kanina, it's her technique that makes her, I guess, one of the best talaga. Um, when we have our bathroom conversations, she would say, 
That's my technique talaga. Tapos naglulokohan kasi kami na sa beach ate, di talaga ako obra. Kasi I need to push off, push off. And ang masasabi ko lang, every time katabi ko si Don, and then sabi ko, oh no, pala pang gawin yung bola. And bilang, Don, makandili. Nandiyan siya. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, being teammates with her, kahit ako, I am still in awe. You know, it's incredible that these two girls put on a show last yes. time around, their five-setter. And uh, yep. long yep. may it continue that we see a lot more incredible Definitely. defensive saves from those two women. Zee, maraming salamat. Thank you very much for dueling as a host and analyst here today. <laughs> no problem, Paul. All right. And of course, that will do it for us. And of course, PVL is live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. You can catch the games on One Sports, One Sports Plus, Signal Play, and the Smart Live Stream app. And of course, uh, thank you very much, Z. Uh, Leaves out. All right. Um, uh, that's it for tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Z. Hervasho. Catch us weeknights here on One News, One Sports, and One Sports Plus. I'm Paolo De Rosario, and this has been The Game.